How to embed Google Forms on your website. Easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to embed Google Forms to your website. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will go to google.com slash forms. It will take you to Google Forms or you can just search for Google Forms on your uh, Google search bar and it will take you right here. Google Forms allows us to create and share online forms and surveys and analyze responses in real time. So it is powered by Google and is completely free. So you require a website now. I will be working with my Google Sites website. Let me actually open it up. One of the websites that I was working on. And I'll show you how to embed a Google form to my Google Sites website here. So the process is going to be similar for any website and you can add them to your Wix website, to your Squarespace, even your WordPress website. So this is my website right here on our Google site. This is just like a test website. What I will do is I will actually create, go to a page which is contact us and I want to add a Google Forms. Let's get to Google Form here and create a form first. Click on go to forms and it will take you here. We have few of the templates available such as t-shirt, sign up, party invite, RSVP, contact information and a blank form. So let's actually work with this one right here which is a contact form or I can start from the blank. Uh, let's actually go with blank so that I can show you from the scratch how to create a form with Google Forms. It's really easy to do and I really like to create forms with this uh, platform because it gives you very easy methods and Google always makes things easier for us. First of all, give your document a name. I'm going to call it test contact form. All right, so I'm creating a contact form here then we have to give our form a name so again i'm just gonna call it test contact form in description i'm gonna write the description really quickly all right so you will enter the information about your form for example if it's a party invite if it's a sign up form then you can just enter the details here like a simple description so let's start with the questions first of all this is going to be untitled question i'm going to change it select right here and this is the first question First, you have to select the type, what type of question it is going to be. So it's going to be a short answer. Here, I'm going to select. So here, I will enter my question, which is going to be name. So this is the first thing that I want to know. Then we can select the type of question we want. Short question, paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, drop down, file upload. Then we have date, time, tick box, and multiple choice grade. So these are the kind of questions we can add. You can also, you know, save time by importing questions. If you have already, you know, created and prepared some questions, you can import from here. We have text, titles, add image, add video and add sections. So we can create more than one section to a form. So this is going to be my first question and it's going to be a simple question name. And this is going to be a short answer. So once it's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another question. So this is my first question. Second is going to be email address. So I'm going to just type in email address. Again, it's going to be a short answer question. This one. That's it. I'm going to, you know, just click on add new question. So I have two questions, name, email address. Then let's go with another type of question now. So now I'm going to ask like a multiple choice or let's go with a check box option. Are you a subscriber? Let's just go with this question and we have a check box now. So I'm going to go with option one is going to be yes. And then I'm going to add another. So this one is going to be no. Yes and no. Okay, so these are the two options I'm going to go for. Let's add another question. This time, what I can do is I'm going to create a question for you where you have to. Let's go with a drop down. In the drop down, what I will do is I will select maybe country. All right. So here we have country. And now we have to add all of the different options in our drop down. So here I have added some of the options and I'm just going to add another question now. So similarly, I can create sections to my form here. Click on the section and it will divide your form into two sections. So I have first section right here and then I can create another section where maybe I can ask for a paragraph. Let's actually do that. So I'm going to call the second section details. All right. In details for description, I'm just going to for now leave it. Let's add the question. So the first question is going to be give your feedback. And I'm going to actually add a paragraph here. 
perfect and then let's add add another one which is going to be let's go with the scale now and i'm gonna go with a linear scale read our channel okay perfect so i think uh, i have added all of the questions i wanted to this is how you will add question from this option right here you can import question then we have text so it will allow you to add a title and description you can add images videos and add sections to your form once it's done what i can do is i can change the color and customize my form right here so we have like a text setting we have headers and we have colors i have selected purple maybe you can select green or something other so let's actually go with red so this is going to be the color for my form now we have header image that we can select so in header image let's go for an image or maybe leave it for now this is going to be the background you know color right here we have questions and then we have the text style once the customization is done uh, what i want you guys to do is get a preview of your form so i'm going to click on preview all right so this is my form right here you can see we have name email address are you a subscriber in country you can choose from the countries that i created as a drop down and then we have our other section you click on next so the sections are divided like this you click on next and you are driven to the next section of the form and you can enter your feedback and then we have like this all right so this looks pretty good my form now what i'm gonna do is i will just okay this is extra how to delete a section you click right here and you have a delete option click on delete that section will be deleted again i saw something here it's extra so i'm just going to delete this one as well perfect so now we have our form ready you can also click on responses to check the responses that you will be getting of course the update will be shown here and you can open up your google forms anytime to get the updates about your form then we have settings in settings we have make this a quiz responses presentation form detail and question default so if you want to make it a quiz and assign point values you want to like you know answer and automatically provide feedback then you can select this option but this is for if you have like a meeting or something and you want to get like a survey so this is how we can change it into this get the responses here again once it's done we can send this form to our you know via email we can also embed and we can also you know simply get the link now this is the link that you will be adding to your other websites i am using google sites so let me actually show you something once i'm done with the form what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save it all right so here we have our form go to your google sites in google sites go to the insert section scroll all the way down to forms click on forms and here we have our form that we created select it insert and it's added to your website here we have our foam and now i can place it in the middle there you go this is how you embed google forms to your website again if you have other any website you can share your form uh, with this option click on these three dots and then you can open it up in a new tab and then get your link and share the link and embed that link to any of your website if you have a squarespace website if you have a wordpress website or a wix website so yeah guys this brings us to the end i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel